drums, here it comes, and... Ah, uh, is there any better sound in the world of wine than that? Uh, I'm not sure whether there is. Uh, hi there, it's Simon from Manchester Wine School, and uh, I'm... It's Father's Day, uh, but it's also the second day of uh, English Wine Week. Uh, so why am I drinking a bottle of Pommery? Uh, well, it's because it is um, not the Pommery Champagne. This is Louis Pommery, England. Traditional method. Um, Pommery is one of a number of champagne houses that has invested in the growing world that is English sparkling wine, uh, buoyed up by uh, all the enthusiasm that there's been for, for all the sparkling wines that have been produced over the last few years. And Pommery was the, the first one to get its wines on the market. They're not, they pl they've got their own vineyard somewhere in Hampshire. I'm not exactly sure where it is. This wine isn't from that vineyard because they only planted it, I think, in 2014. At the moment, they're buying in some grapes from here, there and everywhere. Well, maybe not everywhere, but certainly here and there. And they're using their facilities at the excellent Hattingley Valley to make their wine. And so this is their, their non-vintage fizz made from Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. And um, I, yeah, I'm not sure how old it is, but let's just give it a sniff and a swirl and see where we get with, to with it. it. Smells rich but fresh. It's got that little touch of slight honey, uh, a little bit of the bread dough, the brioche, and so these nice uh, chocolate tinged fruitiness. And it's that chocolate that's on the milk chocolate going into the white chocolate. Uh, a hint of vanilla there, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it won't have been near a barrel, but you never know. A bit of it might have been barrel aged, but I've, I'm reasonably sure that it won't have, have been. Um, but it smells, God, I can feel myself salivating. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to get my, my laughing tackle around it, as they say, and see uh, what it tastes like. Maybe what I should have done is tried it alongside Pomeroy's stuff made on the opposite side of the channel. This is lovely, tasty stuff. Almost like it's got a dusting of cocoa on there. Um, and there is this, yeah, richness, fruitiness. I get in there and there's this cooked apple character. Uh, there's a, a fresher, perky pineapple bit in there. And this little note of chocolate coming through on the finish. Very classy wine. And uh, uh, does it taste like champagne? It tastes like English sparkling wine. And English sparkling wine is good and at its best. Can uh, uh, stand up there very, very proudly with, uh, with the best of champagne. Um, I'll put it this way. It's Father's Day. Uh, there's me, my wife and my daughter in the house and I think I shall be hogging the bottle at my end of the table uh, because um, it's a wine I, I, I want to uh, I want to sit now and have a, a glass. Uh, we're just getting ready to, to have something to eat this evening and I want to have a glass while I'm waiting. But I think uh, we're having it with something ever so slightly, um, a, a, little, a little touch of spice in there. And I think that combination of the depth of fruit uh, that little and that rounded richness. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes down rather well with it. If it doesn't, I'll have a good time on the way, but um, I'm really enjoying this. So cheers. Uh, enjoy the rest of Father's Day if I manage to get this video by the end of Father's Day. But certainly uh, for English Wine Week, go out there, buy your homegrown talent and, um, and enjoy because this is extremely enjoyable wine. See you soon.